Welcome to worship. I'm Karen Bray, the pastor here at College Avenue Church, and we are glad to have you joining us this morning for online worship. We are celebrating today Commitment and Faith Promise Sunday. If you have not returned your stewardship or your Faith Promise commitment cards, please do so. And thank you for supporting the ministry of College Avenue and for supporting our Faith Promise missions. This coming Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and our Ash Wednesday service will be available on YouTube, and an e-blast will come out with the link and the bulletin at 6 p.m. So check your email after 6 and be ready to celebrate Ash Wednesday with us. Ashes are available to be picked up at the church office on Wednesday from 10 a.m. to noon. And if you are unable to pick them up, please contact the church office as soon as possible. The Society of St. Andrew needs help distributing food to our local food pantries. The Society of St. Andrew is an organization that glean farmers' excess produce and donates those items to local hunger relief organizations. Through the pandemic, they have also been distributing USDA farm-to-family food boxes. Every Tuesday in February at 11 o'clock a.m., they need help getting boxes off the truck and into the local food pantry vehicles. Each box has about 30 pounds of veggies, dairy, and meat. Those able to help should sign up for the Delaware County Distribution at www.endhunger.org forward slash Indiana under the volunteer calendar. This is a wonderful way to give our time and to work together with other churches in Muncie to help feed those in need. All this information can be found on our website and, on, and in the online bulletin. Now, please join me as we prepare our hearts for worship. Please join me in the call to worship. The law of God is to love God and to love one another. Come let us be the salt of the earth, the light of the world. Come let us love one another with the love of God. Let us join together in, in our love of God to worship and follow Jesus.
Good morning, kids and parents. First of all, happy Valentine's Day. Today's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on a Sunday. That is so amazing. I am so excited for it. But thank you for joining us at College Avenue United Methodist. And it's that time again. It's children's moment time. Grab your blanket, your pillow, your stuffed animal, whatever you do. Maybe some candy you got for Valentine's Day, maybe, if your parents let you. And get comfortable. It is your time. Okay. So this morning here at College Avenue is Commitment Sunday. And what that means is your parents are committing to supporting the church for, an, for this coming year with money, with time, mostly money, but time and all of their, they're putting everything they've got. This is their church. So, and it's your church too. So what's that mean for you guys? What does that look like? And I think what we need to do, us kids, is we need to look at our commitment to Jesus. Like, are we committed to Jesus? And you've probably heard what I'm about to say before. But I'm going to say it anyway, okay? Jesus is God's son, and he came to this earth for so many reasons. He came down to earth for so many reasons. But the most important one, I think, is the fact that he showed us how to live. He showed us that we're supposed to love God and love others with everything we have. We're supposed to show grace and forgiveness to other people. And if we follow Jesus, we should do those things. So... One of the questions I have for you this morning is, are you a follower of Jesus? Is he number one in your life? Are you committed to him? The awesome part about this question is, it's just for you. You get to make that decision. Your parents can help you, but it's ultimately your decision. And I believe that it is the most important decision you will ever make in your entire life. So if that's something you want to do, commit to Jesus. He is your Lord and you're going to follow him with everything that you have. I want you to tell your parents right now so they can pause this video and you guys can talk about it. Go ahead. It's okay. It's just a YouTube video. You can pause it. Go ahead. We'll wait. Okay, if you paused it, we're back. Okay, and if you made that decision, that is amazing. That is awesome. Tell your grandparents. Tell anybody that you can, that you that you can that you are now a believer in Jesus, and that is amazing. Now, back to the now. There's something I really, really want you to remember. Okay, that decision that you made to commit to Jesus, to, that he that you're going to follow him. That's just the beginning. If we're going to follow him, we need to do the things that he did, like. Love God with everything that we have. Love others with everything we have. Show that grace and forgiveness, even if it's hard. Those are the things that show people that you're a follower of Jesus. See, we shouldn't have to tell people. We should just show it. Okay? Let's talk to them. Lord, thank you for just your example throughout the Gospels of what we should do as followers of you. And I know there's some little guys and girls out there that probably made their first time commitment to you. And that's awesome, but it doesn't start, it doesn't stop there. It starts there. Help them to live for you from this day on. It's in your awesome name. Amen. Now, as a reminder, always, every week, I'm going to leave you with a blessing, and I'm going to ask you to be a blessing and show the grace and forgiveness that Jesus showed us. We'll see you next week. Please join me in prayer. Living God, help us so to hear your holy word that we may truly understand, that understanding we may believe and believing we may follow in all faithfulness and obedience, seeking your honor and glory in all that we do. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The gospel lesson is from St. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 through 40. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had left the Sadducees speechless, they met together. One of them, a legal expert, tested him. 
Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandments. And the second is like it. You must love your neighbor as you love yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commands. The word of God for the people of God. Valentine's Day. It's the day we celebrate love. And while this has been a very different year, and we are not used to conducting our stewardship campaign in January and February, or combining our stewardship commitment Sunday and our faith promise Sunday, it still seems very appropriate and especially fitting to celebrate both of these on Valentine's Day. After all, it is the day that we celebrate love. And as Jesus taught, love is the core of our faith. Love of God and love of neighbor. Over the past several weeks, we have talked about how strong the pull of gravity is on us. Of course, we've been talking about the, the pull of our society and our culture the society that tells us that we need more. We need bigger. We need bigger cars and houses and TVs and everything else. 
Our culture tells us that we will be happy when we have the newest and the shiniest and the best of whatever it is. But Jesus teaches that the gravitational pull for those who call themselves by his name is love. That we are called and drawn toward the love of God and the love of neighbor. Today, as we invite you to prayerfully consider your pledge to College Avenue's ministry plan, that is our budget for 2021, and as we invite you to prayerfully consider how you will support our Faith Promise Ministries, we are inviting you to, de inviting you to demonstrate your love of God and your love of neighbor in supporting the ministries that provide teaching for every generation in our own congregation, teaching about the love God has for us. You are providing funds that support the DNA of this congregation that is rooted in intergenerational ministry, gathering, growing, going, and yes, giving. And we are inviting you to demonstrate your love of neighbor by supporting local and global ministries that show God's love to others in very tangible ways. A better way here in Muncie that we will hear more about in just a few moments. Africa University provides quality education, and spiritual support for students in Zimbabwe and across the continent of Africa. Habitat for Humanity makes home ownership a reality for local families. And Covenant Partners is a United Methodist ministry right here in Muncie that provides not only food but worship opportunities. Christian Ministries here in Muncie, again, provides food, shelter, and emergency assistance for those in need, right here in our community. Faith Promise Giving supports our partnership with Westview Elementary and the assistance that we are able to give for their families, local families, right here in this neighborhood. Your giving also supports Redbird Mission, that provides education and assistance to those in Appalachia. Mission Guatemala provides medical clinics, feeding programs, and vocational training for those in Guatemala. So what do we mean when we talk about faith promise? We're talking about all those ways that we, through our giving, share love here in Muncie, Africa, Appalachia, Guatemala, here and around the world. Your giving shares the love of Christ globally. The expert in the law asked Jesus in our passage today, teacher, what is the greatest commandment of the law? He thought he was backing him into a corner where, you know, if he said this one and not that one, he'd be in trouble. But Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And Jesus said, the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and all the prophets depend upon these two commands. Friends, this has been a different year. <laughs> Nothing has been normal. And perhaps there are things in your life that make you wonder, what does this mean? What's next? And where do we go from here? Friends, these are the same kinds of questions that events in the life of a congregation can make us ask. And we're living through just such a season. These are challenges that we did not anticipate. But friends, challenges are not bad things. They give us the opportunity to ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Who are we as a church? What sets us apart? What kind of church do we want to be in the future? What do we envision ourselves to be? It begins with the understanding, and I think, I know, 
that the pandemic has helped us realize that we do not go to church. The pandemic has helped us realize that church is not about a building, but the people are the church. We do not go to church, but we live every day and in every place being the church. Jesus teaches us what it means to be the church and the purpose of the church. And he teaches us what the mission of a follower of Jesus is by summarizing these two commandments. Love God and love and serve your neighbor. Today, we celebrate all the ways that we can demonstrate that love through our pledges to support the ministries and missions of College Avenue so that we can share God's love to many others and in many different ways. The stars of your heart is the stars of your life. For out of your heart comes the kind of your life. The way you reach out to the world around is first in your Hello, College Avenue. I miss you guys. While we're physically disconnected, I feel connected to you all in spirit as much as ever. I want to thank you for your support of A Better Way over so many years. You've helped sustain us as an organization, and you've allowed us to help a lot of people in need. There are some people in this world who just want to close their eyes to um, people who are struggling, but you have been the opposite of that. You've helped us help others in your understanding. You give us financial support. You've given us your labor, your talents, and your prayers. You've been a blessing to a lot of people, and we hope that you will be blessed with hope and health and joy and peace and love and all those good things. We are just really filled with gratitude for all you've done for a better way. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Tony Bond, one of the volunteer coordinators at A Better Way Services. I just wanted to say thank you so much 
to the church and everyone who made this mission project a success. When I received the call from Becky that she wanted to choose our agency for this mission project, I was thrilled. I couldn't think of anyone better than our clients that we serve to get the pillow books that all of you work so hard to create. Thank you so much for taking the time to put those together, to connect with each other, and to make sure that all of our clientele would be able to receive one of the pillow books. Thank you again so much. And I want to tell you a little bit about A Better Way and our services. I have my friend, Mercedes Carr, who's going to tell you a little bit more about what we do at A Better Way. Mercedes? Hi, I'm Mercedes Carr, and I am a prevention coordinator here at A Better Way. And we have a variety of services. Um, one of the main services that I help provide are prevention services. And so I help go into schools and do community presentations. But while I'm here at Shelter, I help assist with a lot of other duties that we can um, assist with at A Better Way. So one of those things that we provide is the National Suicide Line, where we serve clients um, in surrounding counties who are dealing with suicidal thoughts or or anxiety, depression, or any other mental health challenge. We have services um, such as telecare, which is a service where we actually call people in the community who are elderly or homebound, and we give them social calls and check in on them and make sure that they have their medication. In shelter, we do provide case management services for clients and victims of domestic violence. And that might just look like helping them attain housing, helping them get a job, or do whatever it takes to get on their feet so that they can accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish in their life. So we also provide provide um, sexual assault resources for clients who have dealt with sexual assault. That might look like going to the hospital, sending one of our sexual assault response team members there to check in and see how that client is doing. We have a rape walk-in crisis center here at A Better Way. So if someone is not wanting to go to the hospital, they can come to A Better Way and we'll assist them with whatever they need, whether that means walking them through counseling or just being a listening ear or a helping hand. We're here to provide those services. Um, if they do want to go to the hospital and get a rape kit done, we do have advocates on call who will go with them and help them navigate that system. We provide legal services. Um, so of course we're not lawyers, but we will go and attend court with clients and just be there as a resource um, and connect them to those lawyers and those people in the community that may help them with their case. And so whatever it is that our clients need, if we don't do it here in shelter, we do make sure that they are connected with the community resources that they need in order to be empowered and to have everything that they need to go forth in their life and to be successful with whoever it is that they decide that they want to be um, after this experience. So it's just a privilege um, and an honor to be able to work with A Better Way and to be able to, to provide some of these services that can help our clients get back on their feet. Thank you, Mercedes. In conclusion, I just want to say thank you so much. I know the pastor is going to be praying over the pillow books here in just a moment. And we just wanna say how much we appreciate all that you give to our organization, A Better Way. And now, a sneak peek from our favorite resident feline, Oliver Clemens. He's going to give you a little tour of our agency. Thank you so much and have a blessed Sunday. Hi, welcome to A Better Way. I'm Oliver. And I run this place. People are overly friendly here. Follow me, and I'll show you where the guests stay. Here's the living room. Not very lively right now. Now this is the place that always smells yummy. It's one of my favorite places to be, when I can sneak in. Outside, there is a great play area for the short ones. Darn those doors, off limits to me. People are always cleaning around here. I like that.
when there are guests, this is where the action is. She's quiet today. Usually, people hang out in here. Where are all the people? More space for the short ones. So many things to get into. Come on, let's check out a bedroom. These look pretty comfy. Let's go to the other part of the building. I'm not really supposed to be in here. Let's go upstairs now. Speaking of cleaning, I'll just be a sec. This is my workspace. Looks like everything's okay. Let's move on. They have lots of meetings in there. Laughing, crying, talking. It makes me feel good. And <sighs> tired. As we prepare our hearts for prayer this morning, I invite you to remember the family of Gil Whedon in your prayers. Be sure to pray for Sarah and all their family as they grieve his loss as he passed away just this past week. Now join me in prayer as we pray a blessing over these book pillows. God of grace, we ask that you would pour out your blessing upon these book pillows and the books that you would pour out your blessing upon those that received them, that they may know your love and that they may know that we love them. And may they be strengthened and equipped to also share your love. We pray this blessing in the name of Jesus, amen. Gathering, growing, going. College Avenue Church is a loving community that welcomes all people. We have always been very proud of our beautiful facility. Of course, as it has aged, it has needed repairs and maintenance. Thanks to your giving, we have been able to complete repairs to our roof, our heating, and cooling systems, and have been able to complete many other projects this past year. We are eager to gather once again for in-person worship in our beautiful sanctuary. Music ministry is vital to the inspiring worship we enjoy at College Avenue, and your financial gifts help us maintain our pipe organ, bells, pianos, and other instruments and equipment. The financial support we receive from the congregation enables us to purchase new music and copyright licenses for the music and videos we use in online worship. Intergenerational ministry is one of College Avenue's core values, so children, youth, and adult ministries are vital as we seek to grow in God's grace and love. Your giving enables our staff to provide our congregation with quality curriculum and resources. This year, the Zoom video platform has been instrumental in helping us to stay connected as a congregation. Many of our classes and small groups have continued to meet throughout the pandemic on Zoom. We are hopeful that we will be able to meet in person later this spring and perhaps be able to have Shepherd's Camp. As you know, Shepherd's Camp is a wonderful weekend of intergenerational worship, learning, and service. As we move past this year of pandemic, 
we are looking forward to more ways of being the church outside the church walls by serving and by creating new places to gather and grow. Thank you again for your faithful giving throughout the past year, and thank you for prayerfully considering your pledge for 2021. Thank you for supporting the ministries of College Avenue Church. You have been so faithful through all these months of pandemic, and we are thankful. Remember, you can mail your check into the church office or drop it in the mail slot or bring it by on a Wednesday or Thursday morning. You can go to our website and you can set up a recurring gift there or just give a one-time offering. You can even pay your Faith Promise pledge on the website. We give because we take seriously God's call to share God's love here in our community and globally. We do that so that others can know that God loves them. Join me this morning in prayer as we ask God to bless our gifts for this purpose of sharing God's love. Lord Jesus, all we have is yours and all we are, are uh, is yours. In offering these tokens of our lives, we ask that they may glorify you and share the love of God with others, not only here, but around the world. Amen. go out into the world and love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love others as you love yourselves. And may God give you justice and freedom. May Christ Jesus set you free for love, and may the Holy Spirit go where you go to protect you on your way. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. <music>